Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back, finally, yet again, to some more Five Nights at Freddy's news. Alright, boys, it's about time I got to play catch-up. I've been waiting too long to make these videos. But your favorite FNAF news source is back in the saddle. I've got a whole bunch of news to catch up on, and that is exactly what this video is dedicated on, and also some brand new news. So, if you're excited for the news, please make sure you're subscribed, and also you've hit the like like button. And now without further ado, let's hop into... God, who is calling me at this time? Hello? I'm recording. It's sponsor time again, Jonathan Roblox. <gasps> again? Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce that today's video is brought to you by Ace Defender. A rebellion in the Dragon Clan threatens the balance of good and evil in the world. Our heroine, Alapita, the Silver Dragon Princess, has escaped with the Creation Crystal to the human lands. There, she awoken the Creation Crystal and summoned heroes to fight the evil with your help. Ace Defender is a high-quality strategy role playing game masterpiece, which combines the authentic turn-based RPG battles with tower defense elements. The game has a traditional RPG storyline solo player with over 40 chapters and nearly 2,000 levels. There are five different hero factions, Divine, Demon, Shadow, Nature, and Light, all with deep hero background stories. And don't worry about having to wait a full year for new content. Looking at you, FNAF AR. Because starting with 48 heroes, there are two new heroes released every two weeks. You can level up, combine heroes, and equipped gear to create a powerful lineup. Here's my account, and as you can see, I'm already level 35. And here's my squad. Level up your heroes and see if you can get more powerful than me. I doubt it though. I'm pretty good. The game offers several different game modes, like the solo mode, Expedition. And if you're in a hurry, you can speed up the fights by two times or four times the speed. In PvE mode, you can explore dungeons and regions, engage in trials, level up your heroes, and collect rare items. And in PvP, you can fight against other players within your server in the arena, or across servers in the King's Arena, with multiple lineups. New users who download the game get 10 Royal Recruit tickets after completing levels 2 through 8. You can use your tickets by clicking Sky City, Tavern, and then Recruit times 10. So go download the game and level up your team using the link in the description. So thank you Ace Defender for sponsoring the video, and now let's move on to the FNAF news. Kicking it off with the Hex FNAF plushies. Once again, Hex is owned by Daco. It's his new brand. And they're coming out with FNAF plushies later this year. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. Earlier in September, they tweeted out, yes, Freddy has paw, beans, and claws. Showing off Red Bear's claws, they look absolutely adorable. I love how much detail and love and care they're putting into these plushies. And then, once again in September, we got a huge surprise. Hex announcing Hex and FNAF will also come with collectible cards too. Here's a preview of Red Bear. Some of the others will be shown in the future. And you may be able to recognize where this card is being inspired from. Of course, this is a callback to the private room in Sister Location, where in the office next to the monitor, you have a Red Bear plushie holding a walkie-talkie, which is what the actual Hex FNAF Fredbear plushie has as a prop. And man, I just love these cards. It's such a nice addition. They're so cute. Also, the art is so well done. Once again in September, they tweeted out, would you like Bonnie to play a song for you? Giving a little teaser of Bonnie's guitar and his body. And then the next day, they provided some more details of the Bonnie plushie. You got one front viewed, and then they have a collection of four. Once again, showing off the guitar that Bonnie is going to come with. It looks so well made, and honestly, again, I know I keep saying it, but it looks so adorable, so cute. They also showed off the card for Bonnie. As you can see, it has him performing with his guitar on the show stage. A few days later, once again, some more pictures of Bonnie. You got one showing him in the front, another one zoomed in, showing great detail on the guitar. The guitar has a lot of detail, it looks absolutely amazing, and you can also see it has a strap that goes around his neck. Showing off his back, you can see his paws, and also his fluffy bunny tail. And then here he is, um, mangled. Definitely a terrifying sight to see. Then a few days after that, we got images, but this time of Foxy. Foxy has a lot of detail, a lot of thought and care put into him. He looks absolutely incredible. The second image shows him standing up in a way, and also it's worth mentioning that his hook can detach. Another view from the back, as you can see, the rips and tears are also on his back. And then once again, him all mangled. Hopefully we can get a release date for these guys soon, because Daco did say he wanted these guys out by the end of the year. And now we're kind of closing in on that time 
time, so hopefully maybe around Halloween we'll get some information. Staying on topic with plushies, we got two brand new 16 inch plushies. One for Vanny, which as you can see takes on a completely different appearance from the one we got during the security breach wave. She looks a lot more angry, upset, which is a little sad, but also kind of scary. And as you can see, these will be exclusive to GameStop and EB Games. And then we also got a 16 inch Rockstar Freddy, who also will be exclusive to GameStop and EB Games. And instead of looking mad like Vanny, his new design looks a bit more worried, I guess, is the word I would use. Both these plushies release fairly soon in the next couple of months, so if you want to pre-order them, now is the perfect time. And then, interestingly enough, out of nowhere, we got two more Jumbo FNAF plushies, this time of the Spring Colorway Freddy and Spring Colorway Foxy. These were not announced anywhere, and in fact, they still have not been properly announced. Even the meme scheme, who I'm sure you guys all know, did a full video covering these guys, so if you want a full in-depth look at the plushies, I'll leave his video link down below. Right now, it seems like they are extremely difficult to get, and so far only UK people have been able to find them. So if you live in the UK, I don't know, maybe go look at Tesco, see if they've got it. But yeah, let it be known, these guys are very difficult to find. And then the other day, we got a look at a brand new FNAF Security Breach plushie. This time, Blacklight Glam Rock Freddy. That's right, the adjectives just keep on coming. This was shown off by Puppet Steve, who also got a look at Freddy Frostbear and the Security Puppet plushie early. And as you can see, it is exactly that, a Blacklight version of the Glam Rock Freddy plushie. And some people have even noticed that the normal Glamrock Freddy has received a few changes. Looks like the material they used for the plushie has changed, also the face shape has changed, and he also now wears an actual bow tie instead of a printed on bow tie. So hopefully pretty soon not only can we see the Blacklight Glamrock Freddy, but also maybe a re-release of the original Security Breach plushies. With updated designs and materials, I would love that and I know so many other people would too. And now let's talk about everybody's favorite mobile game, Ace Defender. But actually, let's talk about FNAF AR because there's been a very interesting development in the game's, well, development. Last we heard, Illumix just wrapped up their Plush Trap Party Blast from the Past event. They added Frost Plush Trap and Piranha Plush Trap, and then they made that Reddit post detailing the fall update coming soon, JK LOL. And then the other day, the game finally came back to life with Illumix releasing the fall update. Just kidding, it's another Blast from the Past event. We are not getting any Anything new in FNAF AR until December. I think it's about time we rename it to the Winter Update instead. So, going into detail now until October 28th, you can get Jack O'Bonnie. October 28th through November 3rd, you can get Jack O'Chica. November 4th through the 11th, you can get Ballora. 11th through the 18th, you can get Ringmaster Foxy. 18th through the 25th, you can get Magician Mangle. And then the 25th through December 1st, you can get Clown Springtrap. You know, Illumix, I don't know what you you are thinking over there, but I sure hope this DLC can save your bad game. In the meantime, they are also releasing new 3D profile icons based off of Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, Clown Springtrap, Ringmaster Foxy, Magician Mangle, and also Katrina Toy Chica. Apparently, they're also releasing some new icons based off of Halloween. And now a couple updates on the FNAF ports. On September 28th, I've already played through the entire DLC, but the Curse of Dreadbear DLC from Halloween. Help Wanted finally came on to Switch. We've been waiting a long time for this sucker to get on Switch, and now it's finally here. And that's very exciting. Moving on to some less exciting news. After about a year on the service, the first four FNAF games are being removed from the Xbox Game Pass. They're gonna be removed in the final days of October, so pretty soon if you haven't played them. And now let's talk about some brand new voice actors coming to the FNAF universe. The first voice actor is Leah Voicey, who did not leave a review for Scott, but Scott did say Leah did great and nailed it on the first take. Other than that, we don't have any info on what these voice roles are for. It could be for Security Breach, it could be for a different project entirely. And the second voice actor we have is Penny Balfour, who Scott says was a pleasure to work with. I don't think that these are for Security Breach because, I mean, we're getting very close to the game's release. Why would they just now be adding new voice actors? So tell me in the comments down below what game do you think these guys are for, or more accurately, the gals are for? But 
that is all the FNAF news we have today. I've missed out on a few more info, but this video is already getting kind of long, so that's going to be another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure you download Ace Defender using the link down below. Thank you for sponsoring the video, and now I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye. Are you having fun yet?